any farmer, when they purchase a tract of land, they have an idea, they have a vision of what that land can produce. Planting a seed, you know, it's powerful. But you start with one grain, and that one grain produces hundreds and thousands. When you put it in the ground, it's that dream. You know what it needs to look like. Now you have to put it all together to make it successful. In your life, you have to give before you can leave anything behind. And I think that's where agriculture and our own lives go in hand to hand. What have we produced? What have we left behind? This is what we have. This is where we live. This is where we raise our families. We see the resources we have before us. Now what is it going to take from us, that sweat equity, that work to nurture and to tend to that, to reap those benefits? What are we going to produce? What is our goal? What is our vision? And whatever it takes, it's going to get done and we're going to do it well. Organizations meet all the time. This is more of an endeavor, an initiative as we call it. We have four counties, which is unseen, probably in the nation, and our judge executives working together, going all in one direction, because we know the great resources that we have. WAVE, for one, it means West Kentucky Alliance for a Vibrant Economy. That is what WAVE stands for. And of course, we tie that in to our river. Let's grow with it. That's our slogan. WAVE Ag is about our ag community, and that is our backbone. We want our kids later generations to be able to enjoy what we've enjoyed for, for years here in this area. I've always told my children, there's no better place to raise a family than on a farm. It teaches that discipline and that work ethic. It's a place where we can go out at night on our porch or go outside and we can, we can see the stars and we can hear the frogs bellowing over in the farm ponds. You know, you see familiar faces. That's what home is about. If you're having a good day, you celebrate together. If you're having a bad day, home is where people pick you up when you're down. I mean, that's those goals and dreams as you grow up from a child when you're pushing your little tractor out in your sand pile, playing farming, now you're actually getting to do it. If you have a dream and you have a passion for that, you go for that. And it can happen right here in the river counties. We're a village and it takes a village. You know, there's so many careers and jobs that come from that. As far as precision farming, the technology, uh, the horticulture piece, the textile piece, the products as far as uh, biotech, education, and jobs in other areas that you could take advantage of. You see the barge industry, you know, they need diesel mechanics. They need machinists. They need trained deckhands. And it's going to be here. It's not leaving. It may change its meandering path on its way from Minnesota to New Orleans, but it's always going to be here. In agriculture, so to speak, it takes those inputs to make that crop fruitful at the end of the year. It also takes sweat equity from our Four River counties working together to try to meet that one goal. When you love something, you work that much harder when you love something or someone. You don't want to disappoint. You want to make sure it's right. Everybody should have the right, if they're willing to work, to be able to live in a place they love and cherish and have a quality of life and to harvest. That's what we're looking for is the harvest for future generations.